out here on my trail, I gotta get this recorded pretty quick because as you guys can see, it's pretty wet around here. It just rained for like the last couple hours uh, and it stopped about 30 minutes ago. And I wanted to get out here and uh, shoot some footage in the woods because that's where I do most of my recording. But I wanted to do a comparison between the GoPro Hero 9 Black, the iPhone XS Max, and the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. So let's see which one's better, which one will be my go-to from here on out. Everything except for POV footage, I wanna shoot with a specific camera. I don't have a standalone camera. I use mainly my iPhone XS Max and my GoPro. But uh, lately I've been mainly using my GoPro camera and I've really enjoyed it. But will this new camera inside the 12 Pro Max be a replacement for my anything but POV footage on any of my videos? So you guys let me know below which one you think looks better. Every single shot you see is going to be recorded at 4K, 60 frames a second. On the iPhones, they are gonna be used with the DJI Osmo uh, 3 gimbal, and the GoPro is gonna be just handheld. It's gonna use its full image stabilization, uh, so in boost mode, and it's also going to be using horizon leveling. So I think that's a pretty fair comparison across the board, but let's see exactly how good these look and compare them, and you guys let me know which one you like best. Will the iPhone 12 Pro Max be a replacement for all my other camera uh, footage other than POV? Let's find out. Okay, this is the GoPro Hero 9 Black. It is in 4K, GoPro color, sharpness is low, and uh, it's also uh, using horizon leveling along with hyper smooth boost. So what do you guys think of this? Again, this is just handheld. The GoPro's image stabilization that they have built in is absolutely incredible. They have made a camera that has changed the way that POV really truly works. I'm super impressed with it. It is by far my favorite GoPro of all times. But again, what do you guys think of this footage in comparison to the iPhone 12 Pro Max? And then next we will shoot the iPhone XS Max, which is the camera that I've been using for the past two years uh, until I got the uh, GoPro Hero 9. On the little GoPro screen, this looks pretty impressive already. Cameras these days are quite incredible. There you go, that is the GoPro Hero 9 footage. Now let's try out the 10s Max. Okay, this is the iPhone 10s Max. Like I said earlier, this is the camera that I have been using for the past two years to film all my footage for uh, my YouTube channel. Until I got the GoPro Hero 9, this is definitely my go-to. I've been really impressed with this camera, so I'll be curious to see how this stands up against the new iPhone 12 Pro Max and the GoPro. One thing that I really like about the iPhone XS Max is their 4K 60 frames a second is really crystal clear. I've been super impressed with it. Uh, it's, whatever algorithm they use in their background once they process this, it, it just makes it look so nice. But I do have to say, just looking at this, it doesn't look as clear on the screen as the 12 Pro Max, but again, that could just be a trick of the screen itself. And just like with the other iPhone, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I am using the DJI Osmo 3 gimbal to smooth it out. But it does look really, really good. 4K, 60 frames a second. And I like capturing this rock because it's got all kinds of colors and just textures on it. So there you go. That is the iPhone XS Max. All right, let's start out with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, 60 frames a second. And this is using the standard lens, not using the ultra wide or the telephoto lens, I think is what it's called. So 
It looks really crisp on the screen, but that could be just the Apple magic in the screen itself. But so far, this is looking pretty good. Again, I'm using the DJI Osmo 3 for stabilization. What do you guys think of the footage so far? It looks pretty clear. Filming in wooded areas where everything is kind of all the same colors, greens, browns, a lot of times cameras have a hard time with that, I'm finding. There you go. Let's get one other shot. All right, there are the three comparisons, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the iPhone XS Max, and the uh, GoPro Hero 9. It is getting ready to rain out here. I did wanna mention one thing that I really like about the iPhone 12 Pro Max is I can now record in the selfie mode camera at 4K 60 frames a second. That was not an option on the uh, iPhone XS Max but it is now pouring. So I need to go in and see which one I like after I get it inside the computer and compare the footage. Let's get in, it's pouring now, oh man. All right, that was the footage of all three of these cameras, the GoPro Hero 9 Black, the iPhone XS Max, and the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. So whenever you guys watch my videos, if you like the quality that comes out of them, you now know that most of my footage has been shot with the iPhone XS Max over the last several years. And here recently, it's been shot with the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Now I'm looking at using that iPhone 12 Pro Max. Is it gonna be worth it? Is it worth trading in my XS Max to get the 12 Pro Max? So far, just looking at the footage, I think so, but I'll let you guys be the judge. And as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.